Now to continue our inspirational story series, we're joined in the Harvey Norman Lounge by Chairman of the Attitude Trust and gold medal winning Dan Buckingham, who's here to tell us about the upcoming Attitude Awards. Morning, Dan. Morning, Mike. How are Great you? to have you with us. Love the Attitude Awards. We'll get into that in just a minute. But first, let's hear your story. I know you've probably told it a thousand times, but how did yes. you end up in a wheelchair? No problem. I think uh, it is an old story. It's a few years ago now, but I think it's something that I'm always really keen to tell because I think people are genuinely intrigued by disability and how these things happen and sometimes afraid to ask. But for me, it was, um, in a nutshell, basically, in a rugby game, just put my head in the wrong place in, in a scrum. And as an 18-year-old, had the weight of eight, eight you know, 20-year-old guys coming against my head, and something had to give, and it was my sixth and seventh vertebrae. And kind of just like that, broke my neck and a spinal cord injury. So uh, paralysed from the chest down. I mean, that must have been a life-changing experience mentally as well. How do you get through something like that? It was huge, and I think, um, looking back... You know, for me, I think I was just kind of caught up in this suddenly what's in front of me and dealing with it day to day and didn't really have a huge sort of breakdown or dark moment. It was kind of just working with what's in front of me and trying to get better and then trying to get back to life. I think what was harder, though, was probably the people around me and for them this catastrophic thing had happened to someone they, they cared for and loved. And, you know, despite the um, incident occurring with rugby, you got straight into the New Zealand Wheel Blacks. I did. I got into wheelchair rugby very early on. I was still in the spinning unit and went and watched the guys play. And not by uh, design, but by default, I think that was really a pathway into f living a full life. Right. Suddenly I was around a lot of young guys who had been through what I was about to go through and, and I could just see that they came out the other side of it really well. You know, it's playing a great sport, living their life. Was it about proving something to yourself or was it the love of sport? I think initially it was probably opportunity. Like these guys, you know, they were, you know, travelling the world, just having a blast and, and just really cool guys. So I kind of seen something I could get involved in. Um, and then my old life was there and I was kind of working through different things. But, but then eventually once I really got into the sport, that's when I fell in love with the game itself. Right, and you won a gold medal too, didn't you? We did. I came on at a, at a good time. It was The team was building and a lot of exciting things came together and it was... Even uh, so many years later, it's hard to put into context how amazing it was. And uh, last year you were involved with the commentating team for the um, Paralympics, weren't you? For the Rio Games, yeah. So we did a, a little co-pro there and, and after a, a few years of building up to it, we got to produce some, some pretty cool stuff from the Rio Games. Look, and I've, you know, I've seen your TV show and I've watched you over the years and I think you're very inspiring and, and just incredible. You give a lot to the community. What makes you want to continue to doing that? Because why don't you now the chairman the, um, uh, you know, of the Attitude Awards? Yeah, um, well, first of all, thanks for that. I think... Um, yeah, I've been with Attitude for 10 years and, and for me it's not so much, I guess, trying to advocate or, or prove anything to the community, but I, I guess in reflection one thing I just do try to do is, is just live a full life as much as I can, which is, you know, works out great for me because I get to do cool stuff, but hopefully it shows to others what they can achieve as well and, and to a large extent it's just it's raising expectations of what can be done and how life can be lived, whether it's, you know, living independently if that's your goal or, or holding down a full-time job or playing sport you know there's so many different options you can do and the attitude awards all part of that so why are they so important mm. so 10 years of the attitude awards this year and awesome the big thing we did it still stays true today to what we started in 2008 and it was very much around turning people's heads to the possibilities of people with disabilities and especially in employment and and the corporate sector turning their head to it so with the Attitude Awards, you know, when we thought of the idea and, and our CEO, Robin Scott Vincent, thought of it, she got a lot of advice around starting small, having this sort of awards thing going on, and she's like, no, this is going to be big. Too many things in the disability sector are add-ons or nice-to-haves, and we went, so we went black tie, televised, gala event. And you know what I love, because I've been to a couple of these gala events, not only do you celebrate the people that have achieved with disabilities, but you actually really pay a big part of that night to the people that are assisting those with disabilities, the innovation, the support mm -hmm. networks. Are we, are we quite good in New Zealand at looking after the disability sector, or can we do better? I think we're good, you know. We're, like so many things in New Zealand, we're, we're really good, and it's driven by a lot of passionate people, but there's always room for improvement. Yeah. And, um, and that's the part that we, I guess, we show the good things that are happening and we put them in the spotlight and really tell those stories. That's what we're trying to achieve. And I love the stories. I love what you do. You are an inspiration. You're on the right segment. Thank you so much. Thanks, and to go and see more on Attitude and the awards, you can head to the website, which is on screen now. Thank you very much, Dan.